what is going on? Um, so I want a suggestion. I'm thinking about doing a song cover from Joan Jett. I love rock and roll. Just because how iconic and easy of a song it is, you just you know, you just got that. That's how I kind of palm muted. But anyway, so I did the gist. So I thought today would be a cool day to go through all my gear with you guys. So, so let me go ahead and set that one down. So let's start out with the first ever guitar I've ever owned. So this here is a nice Fender Starcaster. Well, hold up. Uh, but anyway, it's a nice Fender Starcaster. It's got custom made, or well, you know, I bought it. Twenty-five bucks. But anyway, so yeah, bought it for 25 bucks. So I got a little sidetracked. Bought it for 25 bucks. And, you know, it wasn't really mine at the time. I wasn't too fond of trying to play. I was really fond of the banjo. So, but. And then, you know, kind of stop playing any instrument for a while um and some some random day i don't actually remember the day i picked it up but i picked it up and i guess i learned how to play i don't exactly remember how or when but i know for a fact it's been about it's been about nine months of playing about ten months so, you know, it's almost been that number one year for me. Um, Alright, so that's my first guitar. It's got nice Seymour Duncans in it, finally. You know, my dad uh, was generous enough to buy me some stuff. And now we're getting on to my first actual, my guitar in general. Alright, here we have the Epiphone Les Paul Custom. Got your, got your two knobs. Got your little switch. It's a little rough, but now I play the guitar a lot still. And you know, it's got your Epiphone Les Paul. Very minor. Uh, where to the frets? Like I said, I couldn't really play. This here is a vintage edition, and I bought it for 160 out the store. And so, as soon as I got the the black one, uh, well actually, you know what? With the strap, I bought this beautiful Fender. And it can sound great at times. It depends. It's really great for your pinch harmonics. And then I bought this. That's a beautiful Marshall I got from the pawn shop for 120. And you know it wasn't that long ago. Then I got a boss ds1 distortion i gotta tell you that thing is great and then after that whoops after that i got a wall pedal and i don't use the wall pedal a whole lot like only when i'm like using like welcome to the jungle or something
And, then, and I'm kind of looking for Marshall's uh, half stack right now, so that's cool. And then I got this beautiful, glorious. Epiphone Les Paul Special Traditional Pro 3. I gotta say, it's pretty good. No real doubts. It's really good at pinch harmonics. You know, it's got all that good stuff. But, you know, my guitar rack is looking kind of empty. Oh, my guitar holder up there, it's, uh, it's pretty empty. So I might be shopping. Might be doing some pawn shopping for some lower, not so big brand guitars. Cause you know, everyone tells you just cause it's a big brand makes it a great guitar, but that's not even true. I was playing a Telecaster for fifty bucks. It was a knockoff. It sounded amazing. I didn't get it for 50 bucks, so. But anyway. Moving on. So, then. You know, I'm here. Uh. I joined this band. Not really know what I'm doing. But, I'm, but I did it. So. Yeah. Not really knowing at all what I'm doing. Hey, we all start out. So, I wish I could tell y'all the first song that we made. Uh, I just need to do a minute solo and a couple verses. Then it's then it'll be complete. I don't know if I should tell y'all. But hey, there's only 15 of you, so no. You might just get the exclusive. So, now, you may be asking, well, why am I telling you this? Honestly, I don't know. If I doing a video of running through all my gear so far, because it's almost been that one year, and then I'll probably do a year's worth of a year's worth of progression. Not from where I was a beginner. But I'm gonna run through how I used to play things and how I play them now. So that was a fun video. Not really, but I'll catch y'all sometime.